on Saturday night I was out with some friends and I noticed a group of black guys and their girlfriends and they were saying a few hurtful things to me. One in particular was a nigger fag. I went home feeling all down and out. I woke up feeling sore, raw, just hopeless. And then I thought I could go to the one place where I know I'd be accepted. The place I've been going to ever since I was a child. When I went to church, I went in and I sat down next to a sister that I'd known all my life. We grew up together as kids. So when I saw her, I was happy. I came in. I'm like, well, praise the Lord. And I sat down. And she looked at me. And she got up and she moved and went and sat to another pew. And I didn't want to believe it was me. I really didn't want to believe it was me. So I didn't focus on them. I just focused on the message and the minister. And my pastor had told me so many times before about the love of God. And I knew regardless of what anybody was gossiping about or what anybody was saying about me, or I knew that God loved me and that God loved me unconditionally. This one time when he was preaching, he started on talking about, oh, how um, all the gays are going to hell and how uh, it's in the Bible that, you know, Sarah and Gamora stuff. I was just weird, because everywhere I looked, uh, you know, the women in the church were looking at me a certain way. It made me feel really out of place. And then every person I started making contact with, they would turn away. I just want to know how he could say that. When we were just having sex several times. I mean, we have had it in his office, in his house, in the hotel room, like, all over the next town. All the time we had sex. And every time I even thought about saying anything, he threatened me to tell me to shut up. Tell me, it, uh, you know, it would mess up his reputation. Well, well, after the sermon, everyone was singing, just a closer walk with thee. It was like, I felt, I just quietly got up and I walked out of the church. And people that I knew from school, some of the ushers, we were girlfriends from school. They were giggling and laughing at me, you know? I just went home and I cried and I cried and I was so torn apart to think that my church family didn't want anything to do with me, you know? I just felt so hopeless. I was thinking like, that's the place you go when things are bad is to church and I couldn't go there anymore. I didn't know where to turn. I survived depression. Every day I choose to live.